Tonight, one of Nebraska's longest running murder mysteries is no longer a cold case. The state attorney general's office says it has solved the murder of two Boone County law enforcers. It happened in June 1937 outside a farm near Albion, Nebraska. That's where 3 News Now senior reporter Jake Wazikowski went to get the details. This Boone County monument dedicated to law enforcement who have died in the line of duty actually has etched on here that two officers were shot in the line of duty by an unknown assailant. Well, that will no longer be the case 80 years later. We're convinced that we could prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt. Next to the monument, the attorney general's office announces they believe Marion Cooley and Charles Duty shot Boone County Sheriff Lawrence Smoyer and Constable William Wathen June 17, 1937. The sheriff died that day. Wathen died 80 years ago to the day. Boone County Historical Society opened their archives to show the impact it had on Northeast Nebraska. These are brothers and sisters to us, uh, whether it's 80 years ago or or today if it were to happen. Cooley and Duty were in a suspicious vehicle near Albion when the shooting occurred. The men were identified three days after the killings, but Cooley was incarcerated for years and Duty's whereabouts were unknown. Witnesses either died, left the area, or went to war by the time they could have been prosecuted. Sure wish we could have looked these guys in the eye, uh, held them uh, responsible in life, uh, but I think they'll be held responsible even more um, after life. He was never not a part of our lives. Sheriff Smoyer's granddaughter Phyllis, along with many other relatives of both men, were in attendance. She says, they all knew the story and her uncle Scout Smoyer, who took over as sheriff when Lawrence died, knew they'd done it. It's such a, a, a relief for us to understand that he, he did get vindicated. He was right. He knows it. And it makes us feel really good because it was really important to him. The Attorney General's office says that Charles Duty's son came forward in 2014 to them to tell them exactly his father's role in the murders. Now, Phyllis hopes to one day write him a letter to commend him on what he did. Reporting from Albion, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.